Good morning or good afternoon, everybody, depending on where you are, and thank you for attending the June technical webinar. Uh, today's webinar is working with databases in P6 Professional 15.1. It's going to be hosted by myself, Dan Beck, and Adam Baker. We wanted to go through a couple of housekeeping items before we get started with today's presentation. Uh, first, all phone calls will be muted so we can preserve the quality of audio for our recording of the webinar. If at any time during today's session you have any questions, there is a questions box in your GoToWebinar box. You can submit the questions and then time permitting, we will try to answer as many as possible at the conclusion of the webinar. For our follow-up, we will all registrants and attendees of today's webinar will receive a follow-up email, usually within about a day or so, that will include a copy of today's slideshow presentation, a link to the recording of the webinar that you can share with your colleagues, and also a question and answers log. All questions that are submitted through the webinar or through email will be placed in there along with our answers. We're gonna turn the presentation over to Adam Baker to get us started. All right, thanks Dan, I appreciate it. So we're gonna go through Working with databases in P6 Professional 15.1, we're going to cover Oracle, um, we're going to cover SQL Lite, we're going to cover MS SQL Download, uh, Microsoft SQL Express that is, apologize, and how to configure both a Microsoft SQL Express database and its SQL Lite database in version 15.1. So as in um, previous versions of Oracle, we've got uh, Microsoft um, SQLite, we have Oracle Express, which is also compatible, SQL Express. We do recommend using uh, Microsoft SQL uh, based on the fact you don't lose any functionality with it, and uh, it gives you the opportunity to create some back-end um, access into the databases. So. To begin with, you're going to need a version of P6 15.1 on your computer. Last month, we showed you how to download that off of eDelivery, and if you need to go through that, uh, there's a link in this webinar that you can click on when you get the email, and you'll go through and install that uh, once you get it, if you don't have it already. So this is a diagram of how the databases uh, kind of function with P6. Um, you can see we have Oracle Express, and we have uh, Oracle EPPM, we have Microsoft SQL, SQL Lite, and then uh, the Microsoft SQL Express databases down below. So to start with, you're going to go to your P6 professional installation folder. This is where all of your unzipped files are. And you're going to click on uh, Setup. And this is going to take you through the SQL Lite installation. You do have to go through a bit of Java install, uh, as most Oracle installs go through. Uh, what I've done here is we're going to go through a typical installation. You do have the opportunity to go through an advanced installation, but uh, for most users I would recommend you go through the typical. So as you uh, go through, you're going to click install. It's going to take you through the installation procedure. And then as it gets into the installation, you end up being able to choose the database to install. For this one, we're going to choose T6 Pro standalone. That's the SQLite database. You're going to add a new standalone database connection. And I've chosen to call it PMDB underscore one. The next screen, you're going to set up your username and password um, information. This is your admin username and password, so remember what that username and password is. The default is admin admin. And now configuring the database, you select where the local file is actually going to be installed on your computer. I have chosen to load sample data. One thing you'll want to keep in mind as you Install this database with sample data. It does take an additional um, time to load that sample data within the database, typically 30 to 45 minutes at the most. And now once you've gone through and chosen your file name, where it's going to be located, set up your usernames and passwords, your connection is successful. SQLite is probably the easiest database to install when it comes to Oracle. 
So now you can see it is in the available databases that you can choose from when you log into P6. So now we're going to get into the Microsoft SQL database for P6. It's a little more complicated, but you don't lose any functionality with P6 whatsoever when you set up a Microsoft SQL database. So overall, there are five distinct steps before you log into P6. Initial ones, we're going to download Microsoft SQL. We'll go through that process very quickly here with these screenshots. You download Microsoft SQL from Microsoft.com, and you can search for it uh, once you get there. We're going to download Microsoft SQL 2012. And now once it's downloaded, you're going to install it. So it sets up an .exe file that you can install from. Once the files are extracted, you begin the installation. You're going to choose a new SQL Server standalone installation. So you can agree to the license terms after you read them, of course. Click Next. Here's where you're going to install the SQL Server product update. Should just give you one option. Go ahead and click Next when you see that. And now the server installs itself. So these are the selections that you're going to want to pick um, when the next screen comes up on the features. You want to make sure these four selections are chosen and then go ahead and click Next. So once it finishes installing, now you get to name your instance. And in this case, we've gotten with SQL Express. Go ahead and click Next there. So at this one, we just accept the default value with the uh, server database engine. I would recommend doing that unless you're very well versed in Microsoft SQL. And go ahead and click Next. This one is very important. This sets up your system administrator password. You really want to remember this password because going through resetting it after you've forgotten it can be a little bit of a challenge. And you can select the error reporting. And go ahead and click Next. And the installation continues. After you're done, or after it installs, you should get this screen, which shows all green check marks. This means everything has succeeded. And you can then begin to set up the database. And go ahead and click Close. So the next thing is we're going to configure Microsoft SQL. To configure Microsoft SQL databases, you go into your Start menu and you want to choose the SQL Server Configuration Manager from the SQL Server 2012 selection. Double-click to open it and expand the SQL Server Network Configuration and the protocols for SQL Express. You want to enable the named pipes. It does give you a warning you are going to have to start or sorry, restart the service once you have these done. Your next step is you click on TCIP and go to sorry, right click and go to properties. And you want to enable the service. Click on IP addresses next. And then find the TCIP port. It's all the way down at the bottom. You have to go down with the scrub bar to get to it. And you want to set this to the default of 1433. Next, you're going to click on SQL Server Services. And this is where you're going to start or restart the service so that way all the changes take effect that you just made. Simply right click on SQL Server, SQL Express and go to restart. Then you get to restart your computer. Once that's done, 
that's the majority of the steps you have to take. The next is you go in and create a P6 database. To do that, you go to your P6 downloaded file that were unzipped and you find DB setup that BAT. In this case, we're going to install a new database and it's going to be a Microsoft SQL server. This is where your password comes in handy that you hopefully remember from when you set up the SQL Server in the first place. So you're going to enter SA for the system administrator username and then the DBA password. Your DBA host port is the one that you enabled. And then go ahead and click next. This is where you'll set up your database name. In this case, this is PNDB underscore MSSQL. And click Next. Your next critical step is you're going to create the SQL server users. These are very important when it comes to utilizing P6. You want to set up your PRIV user and PUB users. So you check both boxes to establish a priv user and a pub user. The default password for priv user is always just priv user all lowercase. It's important to remember that is a case sensitive password. And if you didn't install P6 and you had uh, an IT professional install P6 or someone else within your organization, you need to get that public or privileged password from them. Uh, the pub user does not have a password. I'm going to go ahead and click next. This is your admin password. Again, the default is admin admin for both the username and the password. You can load sample data in here as well. And again, that's going to take approximately 30 to 45 minutes to load that sample data. So this is the installation screen. You should end up with three green check marks, and that means your database has been set up correctly within P6. Click Next to complete the installation. And then click Finish if you're done. So the last step before we can log into P6 and access the database is to configure that P6 database alias. So there are two ways you can get to this. This one, um, we've gone through the Start menu, and we've gone to the Database Configuration under Oracle. And we've just chosen Database Configuration under the P6 Professional 15.1 Help Tools. Now, in this instance, instead of choosing P6 Pro Standalone SQLite, we're going to choose Microsoft SQL forward slash SQL Express, and we're going to create a new database. So the SQL Server connection information is entered here. Your host name can be found in your SQL Server Management Studio if you don't know it. And the database name is just PMDB underscore sample. On your next screen, you enter your approved user, username, and password. So this will establish the connection to the database. Enter the username and password, click Next, and then you validate your database connection. and click Next. And you should get a database connection successful screen. Now we have PMDB underscore sample showing as available in our database connections. And to access the database, we click Select, enter our username and password. And that's if you created a blank database. The last step here is if you have an existing database in the previous version of Oracle, or previous version of uh, P6, that you need to migrate the data to. So with this one, you're going to run DB Setup again. And we're going to upgrade an existing database instead of installing a new database. We're going to go to Microsoft SQL Server. We click Next same connection information. In this case, you're going to want to remember the database name. Once you enter the information correctly, click Yes, Upgrade My Database. 
and then at that point the wizard will go in and upgrade your database. Click next when you get the two green check marks. And now you now you're done upgrading your database. So you've migrated all of your data and you've been able to create a SQL Lite or a SQL Express database. So now you're all set to use P6. And just as a refresher, Microsoft SQL is a multi-step process. However, you don't lose any functionality of P6. Whereas if you have a Microsoft SQL Lite, you do lose some functionality such as Claim Digger. Again, Oracle SQL Lite is the easiest to install. It only takes a few steps, but there is some loss in functionality. And if you do use a Microsoft, I'm sorry, not Microsoft, an Oracle XC database, or if you've been using one of the Oracle databases, you do need to migrate that to version 15.1. Now, that does it for our technical piece of it. Our follow-up webinar uh, will be on July 22nd, and Don McNatty is going to be doing that webinar for you. And it's going to be on Ask the Power Project, which is one of the new tools that we're offering. We have the ACE annual meeting. We'll have a booth on uh, June 28th through July 1st in Las Vegas. Be able to see everybody there. And if you don't have the loop, please feel free to click on that link and request your monthly loop newsletter from us. Uh, do we have any questions coming through, Dan? We did have, <clears throat> excuse me, one question submitted, and uh, the question was, can I install both SQL Express and SQL Lite and go back and forth between both databases? Yes, you can. That is one uh, nice thing with uh, Oracle. You can install multiple databases and different versions of the databases. You can have a SQL Lite. You can have a SQL database. You can even have an Oracle database if you have access to one of those as well. So you just follow the steps that uh, we went through on this and you can access both. One nice feature with SQL Lite, by the way, is you don't have to have just one database. You can set up multiple databases through SQL Lite um, on your local computer as well. Uh, another question that came in uh, was regarding uh, Claim Digger. Claim Digger is not available when you use SQLite. Is that correct? That's correct. You need to set up a Microsoft SQL or Microsoft SQL Express database. Those were the only questions that were submitted. All right. Well, that does it for uh, our June webinar. I appreciate everybody's time and uh, joining us and covering the uh, P615.1 databases and the different databases you can manage.